In this video, we're going to show you how to make a overpainting, a painting that you start with an image and you paint over it. Okay. Now, the way this works is using a special brush called the mixer brush. Now, the mixer brush is located over here underneath the regular brush tool. It's called the mixer brush. When you go to the mixer brush, you have all the same brush presets available as always and these bristle brush br bristle brush uh, settings they, they, they end up doing really well now we have to change some of the settings for the mixer brush and we also have to make a new layer so let's first start with the settings on this so we want to make sure that our mixer brush has both of these off okay this here will uh, do the reloading and uh, cleaning okay and we want to make sure that both of those are off then over here on our percentages here we want to make the brush extremely wet all the way to 100 all the way to 100 on load all the way to 100 on mix then the last thing and probably one of the most important things is to sample all layers make sure sample all layers is checked it's normally not now down here in our layers panel I'm going to make a new layer now notice I'm in my painting mode so it's gonna have some paint brushes ready to go uh, for this first one I'm using a pretty skinny brush you can see it tilting over here in the little preview and what I'm gonna do is see if I can use it to simply do the outlines of this flower so I'm gonna kinda work doing the outlines of this flower here alright very very carefully just drawing around the edge of the flower Okay, and what this brush is doing, okay, is it's taking the paint from this bottom layer and putting it on the top layer. I'm going to go ahead and call this layer painting. Let me show you what I've already done in this picture. I'm going to turn off the bottom layer, and you can see that it's already painted some of these lines in. Okay, so the process is basically work with some of the details first, okay, coming in and painting the little details on the edges of things and then after you get some of the edge done you want to work in towards the middle so I'm kinda of wiggling some jumping around with my brush I want you to see how that looks and every now and then you want to go back and look at your painting layer now when you do uh, a few of these outlines I'm gonna do a little bit over this lip here. I don't know really what that's called. And I want to definitely get this white, whitish line coming in here as well. Okay, want you to see what I got. All right, now what I'm going to do is zoom in and switch to a different brush. So I'm going to take this brush and change it. I'm going to switch over. I'm probably going to do this squarish brush. That's the second one over. This one right here in the preset. And this one, I'm basically going to shrink down. So I'm going to make it a little smaller. And I'm just going to kind of work in little cross hatching crosses. Little cross hatching crosses. All right, like so. And every now and then I might go along the line to make sure my line stays true. Okay. But I'm just using little tiny crisscross X shape lines. All right little X shape lines. Let's see how I'm doing here. I'm going to turn this off and you can kind of see what I have. Okay. And I'm just going to do little tiny ones all up and down. Now sometimes this brush does a really good job but I'm also going to change its settings just a little bit. Right now it's not fading enough on the end so I'm going to check to see if make sure it's on transfer mode and pen pressure. That's going to help make it fade a little bit as I go. I'm just kind of crisscrossing down Kind of trying to make a nice little section using small little bitty dots to fill in the area. If you have some gaps or areas that are missing, it's not a huge deal. Now, sometimes you want to go along the contours of it. So I'm going to go along the contours here some. Kind of just do some wiggling. And a few little lines as well to kind of paint up through here. And along the length some and crossing. I'm going to work this area a little bit and we'll see if we can speed up some of the video for that area. 